Welcome to my webcast podcast, guys. Uh, I'm here on another hunt. Uh, this hunt I'm going to be spending five to nine days. I'm on my own. This is going to be my home away from home. And it's going to be comfortable. Got myself a nice cot and a heater. And, of course, you can see the tent's fairly fairly roomy for one guy. So I ought to be comfortable. Um, we got some weather right now. It's more just rain and fogged in. But I'm hoping that it gets cold tonight and it turns to snow. Snow will definitely help the hunting. So, anyway, I don't know how much uh, updates I'll be able to give. But I'm going to try and give at least one a day and, and hopefully show you some bucks that I pass on and hopefully the one that I take. So we'll give it a shot. Boy, it's raining. Socked in and raining. I want snow. This rain just makes it wet and doesn't help the spot in any. It's evening of day one. Um, I've only seen one buck today and about eight dozen fawns. Uh, we got some snow. It was snowing and foggy this morning. Last night it snowed. Um, but it's pretty much all melted off now. The sun come out a little bit. It's pretty much all gone. I don't know if it's supposed to snow. I think it's supposed to snow some more, but and the cl clouds are real high and it's real warm. and I just don't picture it being much of a snowstorm coming. So I um, just have to do what I can. A lot of hunters in here. Uh, but, you know, we'll just deal with it. Hopefully I can turn up a good buck. Evening of day number two of my hunt. Um, I haven't, you know, given you an update because it's been pretty slow. I did, however, this morning, seeing a pretty cool buck. Uh, let me, let me let you take a look at him right now. Anyway, as you've seen, you know, he's a pretty good buck. Um, you know, probably 25 inches wide, maybe. Deep back forks, good front on the one side, not so great on the other. He was pretty heavy. When I first spotted him, bought it, uh, bedded in that bottom, I thought for sure he was a taker. I was pretty excited. I, I laid down, I got ready. And uh, anyway, I bumped another buck, I guess, seen me or something. Uh, a little closer and took off just a small 20 inch four point took off he didn't know what was going on he just you know the better one just kind of stood up and just went down through that bottom so had he been a taker I would have had about a 350 350 yard shot out to 400 before he disappeared into the pines but it's been pretty slim pickings I've seen I think only five bucks in two days so it's not that great and I have seen a number of does, but just not a lot of them. So anyway, I'll just keep plugging away, and hopefully I can I can turn something up. Nice weather, isn't it? It's day three of my hunt. Um, I spotted a buck this morning, but he wasn't, I don't think he was very big, but by the time I got my scope out and on him, um, fog, well, the clouds rolled in, and it just started coming down like this. Visibility's now like maybe 150 yards, so I'm going to hunker down, try and uh, dry out a little, and just hope that this puts, you know, the, right now it's more of a, just a real light, you know, icy snow, and I'm hoping they turn into big flakes and that... Um, that I get, oh, I don't know, I'd like to see four to five, even six inches, and then it get cold, real cold that way. Um, we'll have a good snow background of glass. And anyway, but we just uh, play the hand we're dealt. Or I'm playing the hand I'm dealt. I'm the only one here. There's a couple guys camped over here I've been uh, visiting with uh, every day when I drive by. So they haven't had any luck either, so that's it. Uh, I'm out of here. Alright, well, I ran to town. I've been gone for five hours. As I was saying, I was hoping for weather. Well, I got it. My tent... My tent's about to fall over. Yeah, it's a mess. I hope that uh, nothing's broke. 
And sometimes I wonder what I get myself into. <laughs> Tent collapsed. But I will have to say I'm not the only one. The other there was another camp up here who had a a tent uh and it it was down when I rode by, so anyway, it's a mess. I about got this one dug out trying to get it to stand back up. Nice, huh? A lot of snow here. That's my shovel. So you can see it's uh probably close to a foot. Eh, maybe not. Ten inches of heavy ten inches of heavy wet snow I'd say. It's amazing what walking through snow will do. Just kicks my butt. I just walked down this mountain. If there was no snow and I was just hiking in my shorts I could run up that mountain. But in all these clothes and this Got about 10 inches of snow, it's just kicking my butt. And it's still coming down. You got, I mean, I may never be seen again. Anyways, it's okay though. Um, just let it come down. Deer starting to move. They're migrating. Um, a lot of tracks coming off the top. I seen a bunch of deer tonight. Let me show you this buck. Uh, I had videotaping through my, uh, my rifle scope because I didn't even take my spot and scope down off this mountain. So take a look at him. He's 400 yards. He's a pretty good buck. Um, he had me tempted, but no. Uh, I don't think he's wide. Well, he's not wide enough. Probably only 25, 26. Nice, you know, good looking buck, but just not big enough. So we'll keep looking. Anyway, it's time to head back to camp. Morning of day number four. Uh, it's pretty clear out this morning, it looks like. It's going to be pretty clear. Uh, a few clouds. I would like for there to be clouds. I don't want that sun coming out too soon. Um, you know, if it's cloudy, then I think there's a better chance some bucks will feed a little longer. So, anyway, I'm just walking out the tent door and give it a try. Hoping for a great day. Alright, guys, I just spotted it. I just killed a big buck. <laughs> Unfortunately, I missed him on the first shot. It was 400 yards. I couldn't get a couldn't get a good rest. I'm getting nervous. And his buddy's still just laying 10 yards from him. I shot the first shot, and they just looked. They didn't know what was going on. And, I got him on the second shot. I ain't never said that I was a great shot, but I got him. And he's a good one. I'm excited. I just gotta watch him a minute, make sure he ain't gonna get up. He's still kicking. But I'm just gonna give it a minute. Oh, I'm excited, God. <laughs> Well, there he is. Um, pretty nice. Yeah, he's pretty nice. 
pretty nice one. Pretty excited. Whew, I'm tired. I have to tell you guys. Um, I'm not even sure I shot the right buck. The other one. The other one was also a five and had some extras. You know, just little short ones, just like this one. Oh, all right. Here I am with uh, with the buck I shot. I yeah, I don't think. I think the other one was actually the one that I was looking at. So I may have. Uh, the other one might have been a hair better. It seems like. Gosh, I could have swore the one I come down after was a five by five. But I know the other one had some little extras here, and I think the other one, they're about the same type of buck. But anyway, I'm pretty happy. He's a heck of a buck, so. Yeah, he's, he's a good one. I don't know, maybe 27 or so, I guess. I don't know. But a uh, pretty good one. Pretty happy with him. That took me a couple hours. I made it back to camp. Um, just had me some dinner and stuff. Uh, while I was walking out of that hole, it took me two hours to get back to camp, but I was really dehydrated. I haven't drank a lot of water today because my water bottle was frozen because it's so cold. Well, I've been walking around sweating and coming up out of there, I was really dehydrated and and I, both legs cramped up, and I was even start. I, I mean, I felt a couple times like I was going to pass out. And if I passed out, you know, in that snow and cold, I'd have I'd have probably been toast in 15 minutes. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that are going to be out this year hunting in snow like that. Make sure you got some water, and you don't let it freeze up. You know, make sure you're drinking your water, because man, you know, I. I was a little bit scared there, and I was within a few hundred yards of the top, and I was getting scared because my legs were, you know, they were hurting pretty bad from cramping, so. Anyway, that's my little tip. So, I'll show you that buck tomorrow when I get down there to get him. I'm going to, I left, I boned him out and left him down there. I'm going to come in, he's actually a little closer to the road in the bottom, and so I'm going to go around there and walk up and get him, and that way I just haul him downhill rather than. Oh, so. Good night. All right, I'm back up here. Um, I come back in and to pack him out. I just it's closer to come from the a road down here in the bottom than to go back to the top with him. So come up. Got him all boned out last night and caped, and so um, should be an easy pack out, I think, going downhill. It's a little bit slimy. The snow's melting. Uh, God, I sure hate the hunt to be over, though. You know it. You get all this snow. It's just awesome today. Um, and deer, you know, they're just going to be up and about just all day. You know, different deer up feeding. And so, but I'm pretty excited. I mean, he's a he's a pretty good buck. You know, I was looking at the pictures last night and the video. And, thought, you know, he's, he's not too darn bad. So, I'm, uh, I'm pleased. It was time, to, I really need to probably, you know, get back home and spend time with the wife and kids anyway. I need to take my son, son deer hunting this weekend, so. Anyway, that's it, and, uh, I'll, uh, be hauling him out now. Whew. Well, it's time to make tracks. It's a heavy load. But it does feel good.